Hi everyone, I wanted to give you a little how to how to uh, fix your Toshiba. This is uh, the netbook NB305 and well my screen, if you've ever had the Toshiba and the screen is black and you, you're you not getting on it, you hear your, uh, your main hard drive and processor and everything like that going so you know it's working but for some reason the screen is not appearing. I want to give you a possible way to fix it. Now, bear in mind there is a chance to uh, that you might break your computer just like any other times when you're digging in. So if you don't feel confident enough to go into your computer, don't do this. But here's an option. There are two main screws down here at the bottom. They uh, have a little plastic, it looks like almost like rubber, but they're little plastic uh, stickers. You peel those off and there will be two little screws back here. Well, you undo those screws and then very carefully take something. Uh, you can, I use a butter knife and you slowly pry open the sides. Now, bear in mind there is a good chance that the clips that are coming here, you might break them. I actually only broke them on this as I was doing it. But um, if you're very careful, there is a way if you press in very gently to get this. But just be in, bear in mind that there's a possibility you might break the clips and may have to use a little bit of tape or something to hold this down. But if your computer is already not working, you know, you might as well be willing to try anything like I was. Well, start up one side, you know, uh, pop them as you go, and come around and very carefully get the, the underside there and your screen. Well, then, if I can get it loose here, I apparently got one of the clips reconnected here. Let's see here. Here, I'll show you how I did this. Very carefully. Uh, reached in here like this, put a little bit of pressure, boom, and it just pops like that. Alright, now you have four screws here, 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 and here. Now if you just very gently, uh, it's also good to keep your a thumb or finger on a little piece of metal so you don't create the static uh, problem. Because if you create a static charge, it can easily hurt your computer. So always try and keep a, something. It, it, you know, you can also get these uh, wristbands that work real great, and uh, they allow you to to clip to something metallic and keep you from messing up the computer. I'll just slowly go through this. All right. Once you have those connected, this back plate will actually come loose from the main uh, screen there, as you can see. Now just carefully tilt the screen forward. Now there's a connection right here. You see this gray wire, and it actually has a black connection, and there's a connection right in here. If you carefully peel up on this tape, you can check and see if that uh, connection is still good. On my screen here, I went in and I pulled up the tape, everything still looks good, so I kind of just pushed on it a little bit to see if it'll work. And then, what you do is you go back on this side, hit the button, and we will see if it comes back to life. Aha! My screen's now working. Anyway, I hope that helps whenever you're doing this. And once you, of course, get that done, go back through, very carefully connect all four of your screws there, put your screen back on, and connect those screws. And you may, like myself, if you broke the tabs, you may need a little piece of tape in each side. But in either case, there you go. Hope that helps.